that's perfect, mate. Perfect. Great. Well, I'm sorry, then. Well, we've got a nice new skip here. Well, nice new. It's not nice and it's not new, but we got a skip here. That intro looked a bit crap, really. I wasn't ready with my camera. I was out the back on the phone to a roofer and this geezer turned up a little bit unexpected. So the intro that I had planned for this episode just didn't, just didn't materialise. Apologies for that. Anyway, now we've got a skip here. Let's get to it. I'll tell you what, that was a long time coming, that. That room looks much better. And I'll tell you what, as you noticed, it wasn't just me. We've got a labourer, hello. <laughs> that is Holly, my wife. For those of you who've watched my vlog channel, we got married back in May. And she's decided to come and help clean up which is very welcome. I'll tell you what, it makes a lot, of, a lot of difference when you're not just grafting yourself, clearing a house up, and you've got some, uh, an extra pair of hands to come and help you out. It certainly does make a lot of difference. So thank you very much for devoting your time to help me. You know, she's a bit shy. She, she doesn't know how to handle the camera. Right, okay, so she is off to work now. She's not gonna be help, helping me full time. She's just sort of had a bit of a shift change in her work. So she's given me an hour or so in the morning to help me out, clear it up. So she's off to work now and I'm going to finish off. So let's get back to it. Oh, I suppose we've got everything inside sorted and cleaned up and looking good. Might as well do this out here now. The only problem is I don't really want to hump all that around. You don't really want to see me hump that all around. It's been a while, should we try to snap her? <sighs> got to warm it up. There you go. I'll tell you what. That is a lot easier and a lot quicker than humping them around. All right, well, that's that done. On to the next job. Okay, as you can probably tell, the house vlogs are starting back up again. Now, it's actually been a few days since 
I cleared out those pallets out front and from walking in here. It's actually Sunday, March the 1st, 2020. And the reason it was uh, been a couple of days, I had actually already shot this outro, but since then, oh, fucking hell. Cool, that ain't good. Why in there? I think I need to re-bed that. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so the reason I'm redoing this outro is for a couple of reasons. Number one, today we passed 10,000 subscribers. So, big thank you to everyone who's been watching and subscribing over the, over the years. I say years, it's been about a year and a half, so more than one. So thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm just so thankful to all of you who are here and enjoying the videos. So, yeah, there's, it, Never thought anything like this would ever happen and just just really thankful. Just, just yeah. So anyway, thank you ever so much for everyone who's been subscribing and watching. If you are unsubscribed but do like these videos, then please do subscribe. It, uh, it does actually help me out a massive amount. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, yep, on Friday. So today is Sunday the 1st. So on Friday the 28th of February, the house... The house that I would keep saying and need to sell, need to sell, need to sell. It finally completed, finally sold, and finally that part of my life is over with. So that is another reason why these vlogs are starting up again. That house is completely done with. We're not going back there again. I went um, past couple of days. I've been going there just getting the last few little bits out before Friday. So since that episode, since I was moving the pallets, it's been a couple of days up till Friday. Anyway. So the rest of that week, I spent clearing the house out and getting the last few bits out. Anyway, that is the, the second part. The third thing I want to say is, I teased it, um, I think it was the last episode of the episode before, this jumper. We do now have merch. We have four hoodies, four t-shirts, four, three hats, four hoodies, four t-shirts, oh, four jumpers, mug, sticker, and a few ladies t-shirts as well so but bear in mind all of the everything is unisex but there are some specific t-shirts for women there is a link down in the description to the merch so go and check that out if you want and for the next seven days there will be a 10 percent off code that will be sort of around here somewhere and also, I'm going to put that on my Instagram as well. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, link down below, Rodian Builds over on Instagram. So I'll be putting the merch code up there as well. But yeah, it'll be along the bottom here somewhere or on the side. It'll be on the screen somewhere. And that will be working for seven days. So from the time I put up this video, not from the 1st of March, from the time I put this video up. So as soon as this video goes up, you have seven days, you get 10% off everything in the store. And what I'll do is, this, this jumper, I'll tell you what, let's go over into a bit of light and I'll show you exactly what this jumper is. Okay, so this jumper I'm wearing here is an RBXK. I'll explain what that means in a minute. It's got that logo on the chest and on the back it has got one of my new logos. You saw it in the intro of the video. There's that on the back. Now, all of these have been designed by my good friend, Phil. I'll leave a link to his Instagram and his website down in the description. He's a graphic designer. Um, he, he specializes in logos, typefaces. If you have a company need a new logo, he will be perfectly suited for you. He designed all these logos for me uh, and all the t-shirt designs really. So yeah, go and check him out. He will be linked below. And yeah, if you are a company, like I said, if you're a company you need a logo or you need uh, some animation doing or a, a specific text font made up for you, he's a ty typographer, I think it's typographer. So yeah, but he's incredibly good at what he does. So yeah, links down below. Please do go and check them out if you are interested in any or all of that. So that is the jumper. Uh, it's in black. They all come in like three or four different colors. This isn't the full Monty. I'm only taking my jumper off. We have one of my favorite designs, the Off The Trowel T-shirt. Looking very nice. This was an unexpected design, but I think it come, comes off quite well. I'm a big fan of Vans and um, it's kind of coming off the Vans idea of off the wall, off the trail. But there you go, yeah, but the RBXK. Right, let me put my jacket back on because it is absolutely freezing today. There's nothing on the back of that, by the way, just, uh, just the T-shirt itself. And there we go, that's just two designs. But let me explain to you what 
RBXK means. On the front of the, this particular hoodie, we do have songs with the RBXK in large font on the front. Again, links down below, go and check them out. So RBXK, what does that mean? RB, Radium Builds, X, K, X, Roman numeral for 10, K, 1000. RB, 10,000. It's a uh, celebratory, it's basically celebrating that I hit 10,000 subscribers. So that's the whole reason I started this. This will be a limited edition um, style, the RBXK. I'll only run it for a while. So if you are interested in it, then do get it before it runs out. And underneath that, it says Faber Murarius, which is Latin for bricklayer. And then it has MMXX, which is 2020, the year 2020. And on the back, you've also got the um, the Faber Murarius in the bottom. I think that's how you say it, Murarius, Faber Murarius. And that's at the bottom and then the top authentic and it's got the MMXX in it as well and the RB for Radium Builds obviously. So that is the reasoning behind RBXK. I just like the design of it, the sound of it. Now when it came to designing merch, I didn't want something that was garish or just just screams bricklayer at you. I wanted something a little, more, a little bit more subdued, a little bit more subtle. Something that you would, say you, something that I would want to wear out not necessarily at work, but also down the pub or going to see mates or out and about. I don't want something that is just workwear. I want something that is also casual wear as well. So hopefully that has come across. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, something I've been working on for a while now. Um, I've been wanting to make my own brand for a long time. Sort of going back to when I was in college, back when I was 17, 18. Me and a friend of mine, we wanted to make our own skateboarding company, like clothing company, but that never happened. Um, so now I've come around to the chance I've been given the opportunity to be able to design, well, help design and produce merchandise. So there we go. We have hats as well. Mine's in the post at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting to do this for ages. So links down in the description. Go and check out the merch. Like I said, for the next seven days, there will be a 10% off coupon code somewhere on the screen. And that will also be down in the description. So there we go. Okay, there we go. That is uh, sort of bringing you up to date with what's happened. House of Soul, merch is live, uh, hit 10,000k. And I'm just so goddamn excited for all of it. That will do for this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Check out merch. Remember, Bricks Laid Wages Paid. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So take care. See you later. Ta-ra.